Hello there Commodore fans, this is Aphex Techno and I just wanted to show this off and uh, it's a C64 board obviously it's a revision 250425 so it's the slightly later 1984 style board and the thing with this board is this uh, board was constructed as a I guess you could call it a sort of an inside joke between myself and my friend Adam in the UK now Adam is a expert Commodore repairman himself and, uh, and Adam uh, happens to have his own YouTube channel called Kaner's Commodore Capers and I'll go ahead and put a link in the description there for it but uh, the thing to note with this board is that I have populated it with the worst possible chips these chips are absolutely notorious amongst people who uh, know a lot about repairing Commodore 64's first of all you can see there's a full complement of the small MOS logic chips and these chips are absolutely notorious for failing this board also has a full complement of MT which stands for Micron Technology 4164 DRAM chips and these chips are notorious for just falling over and dying for no apparent reason now Commodore 64's typically have a lot of bad RAM chips which is down to the you know running them on the original power supplies. When the original power supplies go over voltage they tend to take a lot of the RAM chips out with them. But with these particular MT style RAM chips these ones just die for no reason. So anyways I have the board sitting here on the workbench and uh, I'll fire it up and show you that it does indeed work. As you can see I've got the board running some gauntlet here and uh, the way I built this board is is I've been repairing Commodore 64's pretty intensively for the last few years here and anytime I see these MOS chips in any kind of Commodore 64 board I typically remove them whether they work or not purely for reliability's sake like I said they're they're so bad they're so notorious for failing that uh, I don't like leaving them in any board that I actually care about and this particular board had a lot of uh, really bodged soldering on the back of it from a previous failed RAM, uh, RAM repair attempt. So uh, I selected this board and gathered up all of the, <laughs> the, the bad notorious chips I could find that were actually still in working condition and installed them all on this board. And uh, as you can see it's uh, worked just fine. One player Let's see, what do we want to be? How about wizard? The challenge awaits. Hello everybody. But yeah, like I said, this board was constructed basically as a, <laughs> a bit of an inside joke between me and my friend Adam. Because uh, when I showed him this board, he, he was basically like, yeah, it works now, but for how long? And uh, it's been a, a number of months now and the board's still working, so maybe my concerns for reliability with these chips are a little overblown but so I just thought it was interesting and thought it was something uh, worth sharing with you guys so uh, I'm gonna jump off here and play some gauntlet have a good one everybody and uh, I'll try to come back with a new video here before too long take care now